What is up guys, welcome back to another video, and this video is about how to use the slash tell raw command in Minecraft. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to make something like this, and you're going to go in the middle of this, and then slash, and then type slash tell raw. And if you're a Mr. Paul Tomorrow's fan, then you probably believe me. So yeah, let's get right into the video. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to do this. So let's first um, learn about how to use the raw text text hello so if I do this and it's gonna just say hello like this so this is like a really simple uh, raw text so yeah look at this it's just a simple raw text so if you want the text to have a different color then you can just do la 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 and then double quotation mark this 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 so make sure to close the brackets okay and it's going to Say something like this in a different color so yeah and let's uh, learn about other things you can do with this thing so you can also do raw text translate okay so I'm just gonna go right here and show you guys the whole message so it's tail raw at p raw text translate authentication by minecraft so what the heck is authentication by minecraft let's look at this file so I extracted minecraft uh, population file and as you guys can see there's a lot of language files so I'm gonna be choosing the English United States because that's where I'm from and that's what the language I use and as you guys can see these are all the messages that can be translated to any other languages if you want to translate this language to other language then you're just gonna copy this thing and then you're gonna paste it right here instead of this just paste it right here okay so that's how it's going to work so instead of authentication the minecraft you are just gonna paste i didn't the banner that cross that orange okay so if i were to do that in minecraft so i'm gonna be doing buy the minecraft or whatever the heck that is and if i were to do this then it's gonna say go to the app store but here's the thing so if I were to change the language to something else, I'm, I'm going to go back to go out of Minecraft and go to the language settings, which allows me to change the language to any language I want to change to. Uh, language, let's say I want to change to... Uh, Russian, because why not? And let's go to my world. And if I were to type the same exact command then watch what happens and if I were to do this then it's gonna be saying this thing in Russian so it will be really good for map makers to do this thing so I'm gonna be changing back to English and let's go to the last one so we're gonna be learning about how to use the width so the last one we're gonna be looking at is this where did it go tell raw at p raw text translate book page indicator width 1 8 so what is width width is only useful for when um, there's like a parameter in the message so for like this invite notification description and this this is uh, for the width so this is the one parameter so I'm just gonna go to the book page indicator okay book page there we go so book page indicator page this so this is a parameter one and two is parameter two. So there's two parameters. So that's why I have two parameters right here. So let's try this thing in Minecraft. So this thing only works if the message has the parameters. Okay, so yeah, here we are. Let's go ahead and do the parameters, okay? So if I type this and it's gonna, what? Oh, I made a typo right here. Right here. There's a space between it. Okay. So do not make even like a, a tiniest mistake. So that's why it didn't work. This and this. Then it's gonna say page one of eight. If I were to do like something else, then it's gonna say something else too. So if I want to use um a translation with only one parameter then it's gonna do only one parameter okay so for example so if I were to use this you're just gonna copy only this part and you're gonna go here and paste that with this and you're just gonna 
um, remove this uh, so that it only has one parameter and it's gonna do like this okay so that was it for the how to use the tail rod command in minecraft i'm gonna be leaving the english that us language in the description down below so you guys can download it thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next video